In this video, we are going to demonstrate the Whipple test to diagnose supraspinatus tendon tears. Get our very own assessment ebook and mobile app. Links are in the video description. Hi and welcome back to PhysioTutors. According to Ackman et al, in the year 2019, the Whipple test had a sensitivity of 88.6% and a specificity of 29.4%. Another diagnostic study by Scroy et al. in the year 2018 found a sensitivity of 68% and a specificity of 31%. When looking at the resulting likelihood ratios, which are approaching one, we can conclude that this test has a weak clinical diagnostic accuracy and thus no usefulness in practice. To perform the Whipple test, the patient holds the hand of the affected shoulder palm down in front of the contralateral shoulder and resists a downward force applied by the examiner. This test is classified as positive for pain in the shoulder and or weakness against the downward force compared with the contralateral arm. Both studies we mentioned in the beginning also showed that neither the Whipple test nor the MT or Fulcan test are capable to distinguish between partial and full thickness tears of the supraspinatus tendon. Keep in mind that EMG studies, for example by Böttcher et al. in the year 2009 show that it is impossible to isolate a single rotator cuff muscle and that, for example, more than 10 different muscles are active in the CAN test positions. Alright, this was our video on the Whipple test. If you would like to learn more common tests for rotator cuff related shoulder pain, click on the video right next to me. If you like our content, please leave a like and hit the subscribe button and a little bell icon below to get notifications as soon as we release a new video. As always, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you in another video. Bye.